beautiful people. What is going on? All right, it's time for another quick dose of encouragement. Check out today's post. I am so tired of people running around with a mouthful of scripture and a heart full of hate. I guarantee you, you know someone like that. And here's what I hope. I hope you and I are not that someone. Okay, let's look at the verse that I chose to connect with this. This is 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. <clears throat> it says, if I could speak <clears throat> all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. A noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If my mouth is running and I'm quoting scripture, verse after verse, but yet my heart, my heart is not like Christ. I might as well close my mouth because your words, our words are not impressive. Our words, if anything, sickens the heart of God. When we use our words to express what we say he thinks and he says, but yet we do not display how he would treat the people that we're talking to. So important that we value what we speak, but we also value how we handle other people. We have to remember how much God values other people, even the people that we struggle with. And yes, it's okay that you have a struggle with people. Some people are hard to deal with. But did you know that Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself? But not only that, he took it a step further. He said, love your enemies to do good to those that despise you and treat you wrong. This is what Jesus is telling us. He doesn't say quote scripture over them. He doesn't say beat them in the head with the Bible. He doesn't say that. He says to love your enemy. He says to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, what does that do? What that does is that number one, it shows the world an image of God because only God can love those who are hard to love. But it also keeps our hearts pure. So if you're walking around and you have an un in just a just a terrible heart, you mistreat people, you speak ugly about people, and yet you quote scripture, God does not accept that. God does not receive that. You know, it breaks my heart to see how many people applaud a man or a woman because they know the verses of the Bible. And they see how this person or that person does not have a heart for people. And yet, because they know scripture, they still will give them a pass as though this is someone God has sent to this world. If God sends you, he sends you with a heart full of love. He sends you with a heart of compassion. He sends you with a heart to chase after him. And it's good that you know scripture. But it's even greater if you can love a person that doesn't understand what you understand yet. If you can love in spite of the failures and flaws of others. So if you know a lot of scripture, but your heart is not for people, keep your mouth closed. It's better that you just be quiet because really what you are is a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. Nobody wants to hear that. I pray that this encourages you to value the words that you speak, but more importantly, value the people that God places in your path. Understand that he values them very, very much. No matter how unlovely they are, ungodly they are, God still values them. And he may use you to encourage them to get back on the path. But it's not going to happen if when we spew out scripture, but our hearts is oozing out ugliness, hatred, bigotry, sexism, you name it. We all are guilty of having something in our heart that does not resemble the scripture that we're letting come out of our mouth. And I challenge you that if you speak it, you live by it. OK, if you speak it, you display it. That is the challenge for us. 
If I'm going to open my mouth and say what God says, then I'm going to use every ounce of my energy to live according to what God says. All right. I pray that this is a tough one, y'all, but I pray that it encourages you. I pray that it blesses you. And I pray that you will share this with someone that you love to encourage them to be thoughtful with their words, but to be even more thoughtful with how they handle God's people. All right. Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.